Hey there, uh, my name is Victoria and this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to use Excala Draw, which is just a really simple um, collaborative drawing tool. Um, so as you can see, it's a really simplistic interface here. This is just the home page um, and we've got the basic tools up here, which if you hover over any of them, um, then you'll be able to see the different shortcuts for them. Um, and so we can use, for instance, the rectangle here. And you'll notice as soon as we um, actually create an object, then we've also got on the left here now um, a menu uh, relating to that object so we can change the color from a set of um, predetermined colors which also have um, keyboard shortcuts and then we can set the background color as well um, and that's by default got this sort of um, whiteboard sketch style to it um, and we can set that up to transparent and then again we can change the, the stroke here and, and there's a number of other features here um, if we press T or, or 8 um, then we can create a text box which again has this kind of whiteboard style um, to it. Um, and one really useful feature of this color draw is that if we decide actually we'd like our canvas to be a bit bigger, we can just scroll and we can zoom out forever, um, as far as we want. Um, and then we can uh, either hold spacebar and drag or on, on a Mac, you can use two fingers um, to just drag around. And if you end up stuck in somewhere in your front front canvas, you can click and it'll return you back to your canvas here. Um, and at the bottom right, we've got the question mark here, which has a list of all of the different keyboard shortcuts. Um, and then at the top right, we've got uh, live collaboration. So if we click start session here, uh, we've now got, um, you can change your name. And we've got a link here, which if we copy that link and we open it in a new window, then we can see that we can now see it. And we can live make edits here. And if we close this menu, we'll be able to see them here. And we've got another person called Victoria who's connected here. And we can see where the, where the cursor is as well. Um, and it all works really nicely. Um, if I click in, in the new browser, if I click here, stop session, then I will store a local copy of that here. So I've now got a local copy, which I can edit. And that won't make changes here to the live session. Um, so it's a really useful tool. Um, it's got a lot of... Um, different things you could use this for. Obviously, it's really easy to very quickly make um, simple diagrams um, to illustrate something. The collaboration tool is really, really useful for, um, you know, if you're having a discussion with somebody remotely and you're trying to figure something out, then you can, you know, draw diagrams as you're going. So I've used this um, when I'm trying to explain something to somebody um, over, you know, a Zoom call or something. It's really useful to be able to draw a diagram of that. Um, and you could, there are other tools available, obviously, for this, like, like Google Drawing, um, and, and, you know, there's, uh, a number of other tools. This one's really useful um, just because it's very simple, it's very intuitive, and then uh, the sharing works very smoothly, and once you're done, you can just download a copy um, really easily. Thank you.